top of the top of the external fuel tank. You know, the Sabini cap is being removed at some time.
The orbital maneuvering system engines have ignited, providing Discovery with a burst of power for the next 2 minutes 15 seconds. Roger, two engine morale. That call from Mark Kelly, the first of a series of performance calls in the event of the loss of a main engine. However, all three main engines continue to perform normally, along with the auxiliary power units and the three power-producing fuel cells. Discovery flying on the singular power of its three liquid fuel main engines, draining a half a ton of fuel per second from the large fuel tank. Discovery 52 miles in altitude, 100 miles downrange, three and a half minutes into the flight. We're coming up on the point of negative return, where the shuttle would be too far downrange, too high in altitude to return to the launch site in the event of an engine failure. All three main engines continue to function normally, however. Three minutes, 47 seconds into the flight, Discovery flying straight and true, speeding toward a date with the International Space Station on Monday. Discovery Houston, negative return. Roger, negative return. All of Discovery systems in great shape. Four minutes, 15 seconds into the flight, Discovery 62 miles in altitude, picking up speed, 170 miles downrange, traveling 5,300 miles an hour. The Environmental Systems Officer reports the activation of the flash evaporator system, providing cooling for Discovery's avionics and other systems until the time that the payload bay doors are open an hour and a half into the flight. Four minutes, 40 seconds into the mission. All the main engines right down the money, in good shape, 